Hello and welcome to this short introductory film about Wallwisher. Wallwisher is a really excellent Web2 technology which can become a great learning and teaching resource. It's effectively a digital online notice board where you can post content in the shape of images, film clips and other web resources. And because you can invite others to post content too, it's great for collaboration and even just for sharing resources with your classes. It's also mercifully simple and straightforward to use. So let's find our way to Wallwisher. So if we go to Google homepage and key in Wallwisher, the first entry to appear will be wallwisher.com words that stick. If we click on that link, we'll be taken to the Wallwisher homepage. The first thing you want to do is to create your account with Wallwisher. So if we go to the upper right hand corner of the screen where it says login register, if we click there we'll be taken to the Wallwisher registration screen. Here you've got the option of using an existing email address to gain access and create an account. So you enter your email address, choose a password, retype it and choose a nickname. Or if you have a Gmail account, you can click on the Google tab, enter your Gmail address and your Gmail password, and that will allow you access to Wallwisher too. November 1785. We slick it, Curran Timorous Beastie. Over a panics in thy breastie, thou needna start a wassy hasty with Bickern Brattle. I would be late. Before going on to create our own wall, I thought you might like to have a look at some examples to give you an idea of what Wallwisher walls look like. So I think you'll agree they're colourful, interactive and wonderful learning resources. Each post, as you can see, has an image, some text or a film clip. And I think you can already see the potential for stimulating discussion and writing. Dumfries. July 12th, 1796. My dear cousin, when you offered me money assistance, little did I think I should want it so soon. A rascal of a haberdasher, to whom I owe a considerable bill, taking it into his head that I am dying, has commenced a process against me. This wall was created around the subject of Henri Matisse. And how magical is it to be able to draw together all these resources in one place and share with the pupils? As time goes on, you and your pupils can continue to add to the wall, making it a hugely rich learning canvas. And this final example was a wall created for a class in California, and they were starting a project in the Alps and asked if I could bring together a range of images and clips which represented the Alps historically, geographically and culturally. OK, so that's us ready to start building our own wall. So the first thing to do is to decide what the subject of our wall is going to be. So let's go for, say, landscape as poetry. So the wall is going to be a post-it board of images and film clips to inspire poetic or reflective writing. So once we've keyed in our title, we click where it says add subtitle. And let's go for images and film to inspire poetry. OK, so once that's done, then we have to click to select an image. So in the box in the top left, if we click there, we'll be given a number of options, either to choose our own image or one of all wishers. So let's go for the red rose, click that and click OK. Now here we get to choose the unique web address for our wall. So using only letters, numbers and hyphens, let's go for landscape hyphen as hyphen poetry. Then where it says who can view, well it makes sense that everyone should be able to view the wall. Who can post sticky notes, so you have the option here of saying only you can post content to the wall or you can invite others to collaborate. And then in this box you can opt to approve every post before it shows on the wall. OK, and then we have the option of choosing the theme for our wall. So in this case, we're just going to go for silver. It's nice and bright. OK, so once we've followed all of these steps, then we're ready to hit the done button. OK, so that's us. We've created our wall and now we need to populate it with lots of images and film clips. So how are we going to do it? 
The key when you first create your wall is to do your preparation. You've decided on a subject, the poetic landscape, so what you'll want to do is to undertake some searches for appropriate images and film clips. So in Google, let's have a look for Scottish landscape. Okay, and then we're going to choose images. And there we are, it reveals quite a, quite a number of great looking photographs that we can choose from. Okay, then in YouTube, let's search again, Scottish landscape photography and search. And it reveals a number of great little videos on Scottish landscape. So let's choose the first one. Okay, so we've done our research and we're ready to start creating our post-its. So back on our wall, let's double click anywhere in the silver area and our first post-it will appear. So where it says write your message here, if you scroll in there and delete and let's add our first piece of text. So let's go for light and water. Okay, then in the field below, add image, audio or video link. If you click in there and delete the HTTP, then we'll go to one of our open tabs where we've searched already for Scottish landscape. And let's go for one of the images there. So Aaron Sunset. When you're choosing an image, it's quite a good idea to make sure these numbers are quite large. The larger the number, the larger the picture and the more impact it will have in the classroom. So we click on that. And then we're going to ask for full size image. So we click on the link for full size image so that the image is all that appears on the screen. Then we're going to go up to the URL bar and we're going to click in there till it's highlighted. And we're going to right click and we're going to copy. Then we're going to go back to our wall, back to the field, add image, paste and OK. And there we are, the first image is ready. OK, so we're now going to repeat the process, only this time we're going to post a YouTube clip. So double clicking anywhere on the wall reveals the post it. We're going to key in emotional response to landscape. And then in the field below, add image, audio or video link. We're going to delete the HTTP. Then we're going to go to the tab, our YouTube tab. Click on that. And we've already searched for this great clip, Scotland Landscape Photography by Bruce Percy. So we're going to go up to the URL bar again. We're going to right click and copy. And then we're going to go back to our wall and paste the URL into the field. And OK. So there we are, we've now created our second post-it and this time we have a YouTube clip all ready to be played. And here we are in the best Blue Peter tradition. Here's one I prepared earlier. So as you can see, we have a lovely wall full of beautiful images and clips exploring the poetry of landscape. It's been quick and easy to prepare and the wall is now ready to be shared with pupils so that they can access it at home to continue their own writing. If pupils decide to post their own images, then they can have these as a backdrop when they come to recite their own work in class. What does landscape photography mean to you? Is it a verbatim recording of a scene captured for posterity? Or is it something more? To me, photography is not just a verbatim recording of something that was there. It's a way of expressing my creative side. So all that remains to do is to show you how to share your wall with your class or with your colleagues. So in the upper right menu, if you click do more and you have the option to share and then this box appears and you click email. And then in the to box, if you just key in your class email addresses and then key in your own email address and then a note to your pupils or to your colleagues and hit the send button and that's as easy as that your colleagues and pupils will receive an email with the link to the wall.